What is up guys, Old Line Games here, back with another video, and it's been quite a while, got some school stuff going on, but that's uh, unrelated. Right now we have some RX 500 Fire Strike Extreme benchmarks, and basically uh, the people at WCCF Tech have compiled all of them into this one document, so I'll leave a link in the description, I highly urge you to check it out. Um, I just wanted to kind of discuss it a little bit. So... Basically, what we're seeing here is that the 480 will become the 580, the 470 will become the 570, 460 will become the 560, and the 550 is the only new uh, actual card that's not being rebranded. So, uh, just some interesting stuff here. I think the MSRP is going to be the same for the 580 it's going to be suggested to retail at 199 or 249 respectively for the four gigabyte and eight gigabyte models and likewise with the 570 similar msrps um but none of that's super confirmed yet but i i think that sh should be somewhat accurate and what we're going to see here is that obviously the 580 is going to outperform all of the other cards it's it's not not by an immense amount, but definitely a noticeable chunk in the Fire Strike Extreme score. So we're gonna see a pretty substantial improvement from the 480, which scored it at 58.45, to the overclocked 580, which scores 63.90. Now, uh, that might mean that the 580 could become a better uh, 1440p card because. The 480 definitely could run some games at uh, 1440p, but if the 580 is putting out scores like 63.90 in Fire Strike Extreme, it's completely possible that this could be used as a 1440p card. Um, moving on, we have the 570. 8GB model will be the best performer out of this bunch, with a Fire Strike score of 54.19, beating out all of the other cards and having a decent Uh, and still, I've always found the 570 lineup a bit confusing, or the 470 lineup a bit confusing. No one really uses the 8GB 470, it's not, it's not really that good of a value. Um, and even at that, the 470 has been really overpriced in a lot of places on Amazon, definitely. And I think when you can pick up a 480 for, I think the best deal anyone's ever gotten on it was like 130 because they got the rebate, the sale. They sold the free code um, to make some money back. If you could get a 484 gigabyte for that much, there's absolutely no point in going for the 570. So, if the 480 gets a price cut because, or an official price cut, not all of these random sales, because of the uh, launch of the 580, then I still think the 480 is probably be a better value because the 480 will still outperform the 570 as we see. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never really liked the 470s, guys. I know a lot of people really, really like them, but I just, I never saw the value of them, and I never, I personally, myself, would never, I was thinking about buying a 480, but I decided to buy it. Um, and then we have the 550 here. Uh, this is going to be a really, really, like, low-power GPU. Low-power consumption, for sure, and uh, you're going to see it's not really that great in as you expect, it's expected to be sub $100 in terms of the price range. So, decent price of performance. Uh, I think this is a card you can just pick up for super duper budget bills. Or maybe a few bills that if you want to do some light gaming, like, I don't know, definitely you could play CSGO on this thing. Maybe Overwatch, some esports titles. League for sure. You can own that on the top. Um, but yeah, I mean, super interesting stuff here. And I'm just going to put a little graph here, um, just entering the data from WCCF Tech, and in a visual representation, it, it's kind of interesting. The 580 definitely has a much larger performance gap over the 480 than the 570 and 470, respectively. But I think the 570 still is a decent chunk of performance. I really would have liked to see the 570 outperforming the 480, but with the same Polaris chips, it's just it never really was a possibility. And 
Uh, this leaves me personally with the question: Where will Vega fit into this? Uh, will you have an RX Fury card uh, sporting the Vega chips? Will they wait till the RX 600 series to go full Vega? I don't really know at this point, and I think it's going to be interesting to find out. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave a link to WCCF Tech's article in the description if you want to go in depth on this. Also, a bunch of other YouTubers are covering it, so I mean, you could just look at that way as well. Uh, and yeah. That's going to be it for today. Peace out, guys.